Well, here we are at the Manchester Music Mill, um, buying the most ridiculous thing I've ever bought in my life. Probably gonna be one of the first people in the country to own this thing. We're going in to get the Roland TD50. We're gonna unbox it. You're gonna see how they pack the shit. Let's go get it. Oh, hey guys. Hello. How hey, are Jay, you? What's up, man? I'm picking up the drum set. Big day. Big day. Let's go get it for him. Big day, big dick. Oh, my God. All right. Oh boy. First part. Oh boy. One more. Right, you want some out? <laughs> All right. Pump. So I'm assuming the bass drum's not in yet. Because that's none of those boxes are big enough to hold the bass drum. So we'll see what's up with that when we open it up. There's no reason I should be spending this kind of money. Yeah, why? I, I just, I saw it. I'm not even really 100% sure this is gonna fit in my car. Because I forgot to clean it out with the bonehead. Oh, here it is, it's all set up. It's kind of a piece of shit, a little disappointed. All right, you're out of your head first. Make room. All right, let's get into this. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's start out with the lame shit. This is the stand, apparently. So, this is the Roland TD50 KV with the old style bass drum. I've got the new bass drum, I think it's like called the KDA-22 on the way. Um, Roland was doing a crazy promotion. Holy shoot. You know what, BD? You want to help me out? Special guest appearance by Matty K in this thing, or what? So basically it looks like we got all the, uh, the hardware in here. So this um, this is like a little kid dream for me to have one of these rolling sets. Period. Never mind the flagship model. This is intense. A lot of instructions. We don't read those. So this thing just came out like, I think pretty much today, like as far as I know, I'm one of the first people in the country, if not the world, to have this thing, which is insane to me. I've never done something so ridiculous. I took out a loan for this thing. Um, no business having this thing whatsoever. All right, so that's the first tier. What do we got underneath, bud? Oh my. That's some beefy shit. Look at that. So these are the these are the legs for this sucker. They got some weight to them. They got some weight. I don't know. Seeing all this stuff now, I'm realizing I'm in over my head. This is so crazy. Right? Yeah, they got some... It's kind of nice looking. It's like really nice, like polished... Uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Stainless steel? Yeah. It feels like it. <laughs> I'm no man. I don't even know stainless steel when I see it. Alright, so that's that. Um, Alright, one more row of shit down here. Ooh. All right, now that's sick. Check this out. This is something I wasn't expecting. It looks to me like the wires are, they, they're fed through already. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Check this, all right, so let me get the plastic off of this stuff. So I've been hearing the, the nerds 
they almost got me. Like all the nerds on the forums, all talking shit about the previews and the tech demos of this. They're like, oh, it's, it doesn't do this and it doesn't do that. It doesn't cook me breakfast. And I'm hoping that the biggest reason that they're talking like that is because they can't afford it and they just want one. So they're gonna nitpick. Oh man, I can't get that off. All right, so check this out. This is pretty cool. I have no idea how it's gonna go together yet, but all the wires you can see are fed through the structure already. And uh, they're pretty cool looking wires. They're all labeled with what they are. Pretty sick. I've messed with, with uh, rolling kits in the past. And this thing's like a legitimate um, drum stand, like you would have for a real drum set. Like it's, it's pretty heavy. I could kill somebody with this. All right, so yeah, that's the stand. Let's, uh, let's get the kick out of the way. So if you've been keeping your eyes on this thing, um, one of the biggest features about the new set is that it comes with heads for a real 22 inch bass drum. They don't send you, you have the choice between that or the old style kick. Um, Roland was running a promotion for early adopters apparently, where for 300 extra bucks, they sent you the old style kick and the new style kick with a limited edition Roland bass drum actual shell. So that was a crazy deal that I obviously couldn't turn down. So this is the KD-140, which is the same thing that was on the TD-30. But from what I've heard, this thing's a beast and I've never seen it in person and I cannot believe how big and heavy this thing is. Holy crap. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Wow, dude. This is so much bigger in real life. I will tell you straight up, that thing has some weight to it. That's what that looks like. It's big. Like, so it's 14 inches, but that just seems a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh. Gorgeous. I'll just put this right here. You got my double bass already lined up. really pretty so the the big kick that I was supposed to get I think it's called the KDA 22 or something like that uh, it didn't come in yet so we don't get to see that yet and uh, I'm gonna give a review separately I want to play this thing for a while before I really tell you much about it that's interesting they give you two um, beater heads Um, so presumably they're kind of trying to tell you maybe use these on that thing. I don't know if I will or not because I really like the double bass pedal I got and it seems kind of cheesy. Well, these don't seem cheesy, I won't lie, they're, they're, they're pretty solid. All right, what, what the fuck ever, I'm not using that. Okay. I'm saving the good stuff for the final blocks. These are going to be the Toms, I believe. Let's find out. All right. A lot of stuff in this box. This is uh, this is what you want to see. Instructions. Give me a break. All right, so first things first. So this is a CY15 ride. Um, don't know much about it yet. Let's put this here for now. 
Okay, so these are the two lesser symbols that it comes with, which are not lesser, but they're compared to the ride. The CY-15R and the CY-14 Crash. So ride and crash here. Um, they feel nice. Feel that, feel how heavy that is. Oh wow. Yeah, right? Yeah. Doesn't feel like a toy. No, that's no joke. Let's check out the hi-hat. Now, out of all the things that I'm excited for, personally, I'm most excited for the snare, the ride, and this hi-hat. Um, I've been watching some of the tech demos, and I mean, it's just silly what they're getting out of these things, like, for realism. And that's what sold me on this whole kit, was I've been watching people play it, and uh, for the first time, it really does seem like people are hitting this thing hard. For now, I'm just going to kind of put them on and see what it looks like. All right, and I mean, they, they go on like regular hi-hats. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Next up. So let's open the smaller one first. We're gonna open the smallest Tom. This is the PD-108 BC. Now, the different price point, these are, you get three Toms, the most expensive one, and it's a 10 inch and two 12 inchers. And they look like they've got some like meat to them compared to the ones you get with the cheaper model. Um, because these actually have deep shells. Again, everything's heavy. That's why I can't get like this shit is like durable, man. So that's the smallest Tom right there. Um, pretty deep shell. Really nice, like, finish, dude. Look at that. I just like how reflective everything is. It's gonna look sick in here. So that's the smallest Tom. That's the 10 incher right there. I'm quickly realizing that I had no idea how big this thing really is. Like, I took, I did the measurements online, like, oh, this is what they say it is. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna have to, I might have to move some things around. Maybe I'm not paying attention. Oh wow. Alright, they give you a lot of stuff in the eye hat. A lot of stuff in the eye hat. There's all sorts of little trinkets and whatever. Um, and they have their own clutch control, I think is what you would call it. So I'm not sure maybe that's something I need to use. Because it did seem like that hi-hat was a little loud, so maybe it's not just a matter of setting it up like that. But, it just could be loud. I can't believe this thing is in my house. Alright, so they give you two of these. And this is the uh, PD-128. That's a 12 inch Tom right there. I love the deep shells. And you're gonna have to take my word for it. I would say this weighs, I don't know, 10 pounds or so. It's pretty heavy. You're certainly not getting any uh, added stage portability when you buy this thing in its full form this is a real drum set that's as heavy as a drum set no idea what I'm gonna do about cases yet I was hoping that I was gonna open up a box and there was just gonna be like bags for it but you know why would I want to protect my ridiculously expensive drum set Tom number two, same as the last one, 12 inches. All right, and I believe that's it 
of that box. Got it? Look at that. Alright. Now this! This is what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna try to make the last thing we see be that snare. Cause that is just... Oh, looks like a, a thing of beauty. Please open this side. I will. Ooh boy. Okay, so here's here's the good stuff. This is all the new shit. Not that that's not new. That stuff, I'm pretty sure, is all new for this kit. Like, improved. But this is the stuff that, for the first time, is digital. And that has got me really excited. Because usually it's an analog signal going to the brain. The brain interprets that signal and then transport, transforms that into a digital output. Now there's actually technology inside these, these drums, the ride and the snare, connect to the module USB. So there's no more analog in the middleman anymore. It's just completely digital signal from start to finish. I don't know if that means that there's just more to break or what. All right, well that's absolutely mental. Speaking of breaking, half my PA just shipped a bet. So the universe has to have its offering for me getting this drum set. I guess that's it. I gotta, I just blew my load on this thing and now I gotta figure out how to repair that. Here she is. It means I'm not gonna be able to crank this thing through the goddamn PA tonight. Fuck! Ah! Oh boy. Wow. So this is a full 18 inch ride. This is crazy. <clears throat> They've been all saying in the um, demos and stuff that it feels the same weight as a ride. And I'd agree wholeheartedly. It feels pretty good. Um, can't wait to try it out with my headphones on. Okay, let's get back into this. Yep. Keep having little problems. So this um, is TD50, which is the name of the unit and it's the name of the brain. I actually didn't realize that until I just saw this. So this is the computer. That's the manual. So the that's a big manual. There's a lot of manuals in here. Like I've seen at least four pretty diesel manuals here. Now, this thing on its own, you don't you don't necessarily need to buy this drum kit. You can buy this on its own. Um, this is the computer that runs this thing and. Supposedly, it's a monster. It's an absolute beast. You can put so many drums in this thing. Like, I think I can expand this if I wanted four more auxiliary ports, another tom, and another digital trigger. There's only two digital things, the snare and the ride. So I don't know what you would use that for yet. I don't know if you could have two rides, two snares, why you would want that. I don't know. I mean... I used to have two snares on my real drum set, so who knows. Alright, this is what I'm excited about. The PD-140DS! Big Dick Snare! This thing has a triple mesh head. Supposedly, it's supposed to feel like a real snare drum. Same size as a real snare drum, 14 inches, same depth. Um, pretty excited. So far, I haven't seen a snare stand. I don't know, but that'd be a pretty big. Uh... All right. There's the 
USB cable for that. Another manual just for the snare drum. That's ridiculous. And there she blows. Make sure there's nothing no left in there. Holy Toledo. That already feels really different than anything I've ever touched. There's no give, and it's, it feels like if you've ever played in marching band, it feels like a Kevlar head. Um, that's sick. Damn. That is really nice. Check it out. So it's a full-size snare drum now. Again, heavy. That head's really ridiculous. I need to get a... Uh... Now this is just stock out of the box. There's no... That feels pretty good. I haven't even tuned it yet. And it just feels really snappy and responsive. It feels more like a real drum head. It doesn't feel like a mesh head. Sort of does, but that's pretty, they're, they're coming closer to bridging the gap between the real shit and the, uh, the electronic. All right, well, BDs, that wraps it up. Um, that was the unboxing of the Roland TD-50. I'm gonna, I'll probably put a separate video up of, of it all set up because I'm looking at it. It's gonna take a while to set this up. I was thinking I'd be putting it together as I go. That's insanity. That's not going to happen. It's probably going to take two, three hours for this thing's even powered on. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Jason. Check out some of our other projects. Uh, JasonPeterPresents.com. I got a whole bunch of weird stuff that we do. Now that I got this thing, it's going to get crazier and crazier. My buddy just bought a Moog synthesizer. We're getting older and we're going to start doing some adult shit. Here we go. Thanks for watching.